All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an install of an EQT charge pipe kit from Equilibrium Tuning. This is basically going to replace the piping from the turbo to the intercooler, including exchanging the turbo muffler for a turbo muffler delete. So I'm gonna do this entire thing with the battery and battery tray in. So I'm just removing my intake pipe. And as you can see here, the EQT pipe doesn't seem to look like it's gonna go anywhere. And that's because it's different. It's not a one for one. So uh, I'll show you here how that works. You also need to be able to get underneath the vehicle, pull off the existing pipes to the intercooler, and then relieve some of the clips and different connections to cabling. And then also there is a screw down here that is holding the factory charge pipe to the bottom of the block. There's another one here at the top of the block. And then there are some additional cabling that you're gonna need to break free. So I'm gonna loosen up the hose clamp uh, that's holding the charge pipe to the silicone at the turbo muffler. And that is a pain to get to, so just have great patience and Whoever put that in had no intention of anybody ever uh, accessing that again. So uh, again, removing some of the clipped in cabling to it to get it all completely free. And then uh, of course I have some additional things that I'm gonna have to remove such as wiring for my ethanol sensor and my boost tap. So once I get all that out of the way, I was able to eventually work this charge pipe out of there and uh, that's what it looks like. You can see the difference and then how, like I said, the EQT one doesn't match and that's because you need to add in this silicone hose to the end to finish it off. And you can see there's a huge difference in what is coming out of the turbo as far as the diameter of the pipe. Now we do need to steal these little rubber isolators and the screws from the factory charge pipe. So these are just gonna pop off. I didn't need to use anything like WD-40 or, or any other lubricant to get them off or get them on. But if you're having trouble, a squirt of WD-40 will help you a lot. But like I said, I was able to do all of this dry uh, without an issue. So you slip the, uh, the isolator into the EQT charge pipe Make sure you hold the backside when you push this screw through and that will capture the entire assembly and hold it in place until you're ready to install. Again, there are two of these you're gonna do, so yeah, they're exactly the same. Just make sure you put them facing the right direction. Otherwise, that would be awkward on the install. All right, so EQT sends this kit with pipes that connect to the intercooler. The problem I have is that I am running a DO88 intercooler, which has a much bigger uh, requirement for silicone on the intercooler side, but the DO88 pipe doesn't have a large enough diameter to get on the EQT charge pipe. It's sort of a weird conundrum that a lot of people have that are trying to mate this to the DO88. The solution is to use the DO88 silicone, and I'll show you how we make that work here in a minute. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and put this aluminum charge pipe in. Just took a little while and some, uh, some tetrising to get it in place and inside all of those various uh, cable and wire looms. I went ahead and got the top part finger tight and then went down and secured the bottom. Additionally, you're gonna have all of those cables that you loosened up. Some of them were connected to the factory charge pipe. You can use zip ties and whatever creative methods you want to get all that stuff sort of re-tightened down. Uh, you can see here, I just you know zip tied. EQT gives you that little fork that you can use for one of the clamps. I just zip tied cables to it, so uh, no big deal. That's gonna work fine for me. So now what I'm gonna do is pull off the muffler. I'm using a five millimeter ball head. It's a long uh, Allen bit. I didn't need anything fancy other than that and I was able to get to all three of those. Uh, the tip is uh, as you pull the screw out, get a finger on them and then that will help you from losing them. And then I just pulled out this entire assembly as it is and then we're not gonna reuse any of that, except for if you wanna reuse that O-ring, but the kit comes with a new O-ring for this muffler delete that you see here. So speaking of the kit, uh, we do have hose clamps uh, and a couple of zip ties, 
And then also they give you a new O-ring and three new uh, bolts for installing the muffler delete, which could be handy because if you drop a bolt, you're never gonna find it down there. So just be careful, you've been warned. Uh, anyway, so here's another trick, a uh, little bit of tape on the end to hold the bolt to the bit will keep you from losing it accidentally until you can get it started. And then resting the O-ring on the muffler delete seemed to work best for me. And then I could sort of work it in there and, and there's a channel on the turbo side that you have to get that O-ring into. And it sort of goes in there fairly easily. The more round your O-ring is, the easier that process is. But I found it was easier to do it that way, sort of push it up with the, the turbo muffler delete as opposed to trying to get the O-ring to stick up there while you install it. So just make sure it gets in that channel and everything fits flush and flat and the O-ring isn't popping out anywhere, which you should be able to feel. And then uh, go in systematically. Uh, again, I'm using the tape method to start these screws and get them started and then I'll go back with a ratchet and tighten them down. But again, that what five or six inch ball head bit was exactly what was needed for this job. It made it so easy. And again, I didn't take out the battery or the battery tray, which you know made it super easy as far as the overall install timeline. Okay, now I'm going to fit the new EQT charge pipe silicone onto the turbo muffler delete and then uh, up to the hard pipe. And this is going to be a very tight fit. Uh, I was able to do it without loosening up the hard pipe at all. It is actually tight, uh, so that worked out well. And then don't forget to put your clamps on. And these worm gear clamps are fine for this application. Uh, you're not gonna blow off this uh, charge pipe if you get them tightened down. It is a very snug fit. And yeah, I'm also checking to make sure I'm not rubbing against anything or, or have any clearance issues, which I didn't. Then I'll tighten this down with a really long screwdriver at the turbo muffler delete, and then also on this side at the hard pipe. All right, now for the EQT to DO88 uh, connection, we're gonna use the DO88 charge pipe, and I'm gonna make silicone soup. Basically what I'm doing is I am heating up this pipe to make it a little bit more flexible so that I can force it to slip over the EQT hard pipe. And don't forget your gloves, that silicone is going to be hot, but you need it to be hot to be able to get it to work over and stretch as much as you can over that hard pipe. And I was able to get it uh, without too much difficulty. I wish the DO88 charge pipe was a little bit shorter, like three quarters to an inch shorter would have been perfect. Uh, it is a little bit long and I can't get it any further uh, onto the hard pipe because of the shape of the DO88 pipe. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll look and see if I can get a, uh, a different uh, pipe. Maybe DO88 makes one that's got a wider um, charge pipe side but I needed this for the intercooler side, which is massive. So it's not 100% like perfect in my eyes. Uh, there is a little bit of sort of compression of the, of the silicone, which could impact airflow a little bit, but it is what it is. It may not matter at all in the end. Um, but the key here is to get it nice and hot with that boiling water. I let it boil for, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, not very long, but long enough that it could really come up to temperature. Uh, whether or not you add uh, onions and carrots is gonna be up to you for flavor. But um, the key here is as soon as you pull it out of the hot water, you're gonna wanna try and work it. And uh, those gloves will be necessary to keep from melting your fingerprints off. Anyway, got it all on. Clamps were just in the way, so I decided I would put those on later. I just ended up reusing the clamps that came with the DO88 kit, and they're working out fine. Again, this is not gonna blow off. Here's a look at it before I put the intake pipe back on. Turbo muffler delete into the EQT silicone, into the hard pipe, and then of course down to the DO88 uh, silicone and into the intercooler. So anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.